everyone how are you all doing Moho and welcome back to my channel like Lydia so in today's video I have two custom orders that I have to complete and it's um, corner bookmarks so I'm just gonna show you how I do it um, before I start I use fusible interfacing and it's Pelon F S F 101 and what that is is just give your fabric a little bit um body like and make it a little bit stiffer and um how you can tell which one is the other side when you feel it is like this bubbly rough kind of feeling and that is the glue side and when i brought it closer to the camera you see that it has like these bumps like shiny side and that is the glue side that is the side that goes on your fabric and you just iron it on so the sizes that i'm going to be working with today is three and a half by three and a half it's a square you can make it any size you want but try Try and stick with three and a half and up. You don't want to do it too small because by the time you flip it inside out, it's very tiny and it defeats the point. So this is the fabrics that I have. And what you do is you're going to cut three. Like I said, it's three and a half by three and a half. And when you cut three, you're going to fold one side and make a triangle. And you're going to see in the video. And that is what I did. So everything else, you're going to see it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments comment below and I will be glad and happy to answer you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. So this is the fusible. This is how you go. And how you're going to do it is you're going to place the wrong side of the fabric up. The wrong side is going to face you and the bubbly side of the interfacing is going to go towards the wrong side. And all you're going to do is you're just going to iron it and you are going to um, press it. And what I do is I put it on each one for 10 seconds so you just you can count it in your head one two three just do something for 10 seconds and then you just move it and how you will know that is stuck to the fabric is when you peel it like i'm peeling it here the fabrics don't fall off and none of the fabric is like coming off the fabric and all i'm gonna do now is just cut it and make it clean and that's it I'm back I iron it so you see I cannot peel it off and then that is how it is so let me show you how to assemble it all right so we are I'm gonna start with the rooster so this is the rooster the right side of your fabric facing you which is is facing the ceiling and then the wrong side is facing down right you're gonna take remember we cut three okay you're gonna take one of your um let me trim I always like it to be precise. Okay, so you're gonna take another one, another square, right? And you are gonna add, bring the two corners, sorry, so this is it. And you're just gonna bring it together like so, just pick whichever corner, and then just fold it, right? This is how it's gonna be. So you're gonna place it right there, you see? is the same yeah. right and you're gonna yeah. take this and you're gonna put it Daddy. on the top like so right so this triangle here is sandwiched between the two squares which right side is meeting the right side and the triangle you're gonna do the triangle with the right side uh, together so the wrong side are going to be together and the right side will be facing you and you just place it in the corner like so and with the right side you just place it like so okay and you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch a quarter of an inch all the way but make sure you leave at least an inch and a half or two inches so you can turn it out and I will show you in a minute. 
what I did was I drew a line a quarter of an inch so that's what you see the pen and then I just stitched um, a quarter of an inch but I made sure that I left an inch and a half or two inches for me to turn it inside out So this is how the two corner bookmark came out. By the time you're watching this, I ship it out. My customer got it and she loved it and gave me a very good review. So I'm very pleased with that. So please, if you have watched this part, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment down below and share it. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.